here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. Whitaker's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Usman's has got full mount now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to, to hold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Lands the ground and pound strike here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, the ground and pound is there once. 
once again, strong work here by Kamala Lush. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. to fight. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up. Not much. Usman goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Well, one got through. That kick was good. Great job. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. And they separate. Usman gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Round two, Robert Whittaker. Okay, and that man, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Steam behind that Whitaker jab. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Bushman's uh, lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Good stick. Got the single collar tie. Oh! Huge shot finds the target there! Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Whitaker's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, side control now. Huge elbows! All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Back to the feet now. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful thing. Oh! Start looking to finish now. This has got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Usman's got the full mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. 
Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice count. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Kamaru. Now into his mouth. Control, control. Ground and pound strike there now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Good work from the top here by Usman. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's wanted a better ground and pound. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Nicely done. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Descend, descend, descend. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. No! so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Now let's take a look back at the replay. This is one that might hold up in the knockout of the year discussion. Beautiful knee right up the gut, and that was the end. Right up the middle. It's because his opponent was finding some success, and because he found success, he started to press. By pressing, he put himself in harm's way and got finished by that beautiful knee. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes.